I'm Vincent Gabriel, and I'm a clinical assistant professor in the departments of clinical neurosciences, pediatrics, and surgery here at the University of Calgary. In our project, we are specifically focusing on the burn population. And in North America, we know that there are probably about a million burn injuries a year. Probably about 400,000 to 500,000 of those require some sort of specialized medical care. Here in Alberta, uh, we're fortunate that we do not have a very large volume of burn patients, but we would anticipate that on an average year, we'd probably do about 1,500 skin graft operations a year. As far as who benefits the most from this research project, it's anyone who requires a split thickness skin graft. And that's the standard of care for a deep burn injury, but also for trauma patients that lose skin in, say, a car accident, or patients who have cancer surgery where they lose a lot of skin. The common problems following burn injury and split thickness skin grafting uh, are a result of not having adequate dermis in the wound site. So uh, in a wound that requires a split thickness skin graft, all of the dermis and frequently even the deeper tissues are destroyed. In harvesting only the epidermis and superficial dermis, moving that to the wound site does close it, and it's life-saving for patients with large injuries. However, in the long term, that skin is always different. So it is frequently devoid of all hair follicles. There's no sebaceous gland. There's no sweat gland. The sensation is different and it's mechanically inferior to native skin. So although a patient uh, now in our unit and anywhere in North America would be expected to survive even very large burn injuries, uh, in the long term, their clinical problems related to their skin graft because they don't have adequate dermis. As far as what Dr. Bernaski brings to the project, uh, he really has an in-depth understanding of the biology of not only the dermal stem cell that we're working with in this project, but skin biology in general and also uh, neurobiology. The success of the project depends very much on our ongoing work together. I'm Jeff Bernaski. I'm an assistant professor in comparative biology and experimental medicine in Faculty of Veterinary Medicine here at the University of Calgary. The interest of my lab is really in stem cell biology and so we've been studying a particular type of stem cells that we've isolated from the dermis which is the lower part of the skin. What these cells do is they communicate with epithelial cells or epidermal cells and generate hair follicles. But in addition to that they also we think provide maintenance to the the dermis so generating new dermal cells and also contributing to wound healing. By understanding how to generate these cells or grow large numbers of these cells, we could potentially use these for transplantation for various skin injuries or, uh, or disease states. In this particular project, our goal is really to try to utilize these cells for repairing or regenerating the dermis uh, after a burn injury. Uh, and so the people that would most, most benefit from this type of work that we're doing is from burn survivors. Uh, and so we've targeted people that have undergone what is the gold standard treatment for, uh, for burn injury, which is a, a split thickness skin graft. Uh, and what we've tried to do is make uh, those skin grafts better by regenerating the dermis. Uh, and the reason for that is because uh, a, a split thickness skin graft is really uh, where they take a sample of skin, uh, of donor skin from another part of the, of the body that hasn't been afflicted by the burn. Uh, and then they transplant that to, um, to, the, to the burned region. But that graft is really only the top layers of the skin. Okay, so mostly the epidermis and a little bit of the dermis. And so you transplant that, but some of the function uh, is lost because you don't have the normal dermis in place. And so our goal with this project is to use the stem cells that we, uh, that we work with, which are essentially a dermal stem cell, to regenerate that dermal layer and restore some of the function uh, that may be missing following a skin graft. This project is really an interdisciplinary project. So we've got clinicians, basic scientists like myself, and we've also got bioengineers. We've got nursing staff, and we've got psychologists. So this is a really broad-based project. A key partner on this project in our team is the Calgary Firefighters Burn Treatment Society. They've come on board to say, you know, we want to expand our relationship and our investment 
not only in patient care, but also extending into research. They are the people at greatest risk for suffering a, a burn injury, and so they have a vested interest in this. I think they've pulled these people out of a fire, but it doesn't stop there. They want to make sure that their care extends beyond that and that they're improving the, their quality of lives uh, even after the burn. Uh, and so, you know, I think they, they don't receive a lot of recognition for the work that they do in their, in their charity work uh, and their fundraising efforts, but I think, um, you know, their contribution is, is paramount to, to our success, uh, not only with this grant, but also in the work that we're doing in the lab. We're hopeful that in the future, if this is, if we find uh, some promise in the treatments that we're developing, that this would be applicable to other types of skin graft uh, or patients that would require skin graft, whether that be chronic non-healing ulcers or something along those lines as well. So we're hoping that this has broad implications uh, for people with, uh, with skin disorders or, or injuries.